Hello! If you're seeing this, you are on the replay. So comment new month right now. So I know you've seen it. And I'll wait just a minute because Facebook takes a little while to notify people when somebody's alive. So I'll take a water break. I'm going to need this water because I talk a lot when I'm talking color street stuff. So be prepared. Okay. So let's see. Let me just wait a couple more seconds, a couple more seconds, a couple more seconds. Should I dance while we're waiting? What? What? New month, new month. Okay. I see some people are hopping on. So hello team polished and pretty. I am so excited and very blessed to be here in this team space chatting with you guys today. Um, so Jess reached out to me, I don't know, maybe like the second week of March. And um, she was like, would you be willing to train in our big team space to kick off the month of April? And I was like, sure, why not? She's like, that seems to be your niche with like motivating and so I'm like, okay, and my team calls me a preacher all the time because they say every time I talk Color Street, I end up preaching. So motivating preaching kind of falls in the same area. So we'll see what we get today. You may get motivation, you may get preaching, you may get, I don't know what, but we're just gonna roll with it. So let me know if you're ready. Um, drop your favorite emoji below if you're ready for whatever's about to happen. So um, my heart is to serve, empower, and encourage. Like, that is my mission in life. That is my mission every time I open my mouth. So, um, my name is Danielle, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I started my Color Street journey um, in August of 2018, and I haven't looked back. I am currently leading an executive team. Um, we go by the name of Team No Excuses. And I absolutely love my color street business and every single aspect of it. So I have notes here to keep me on track. So if you see me glancing over, um, it's because I'm trying to be very conscious of your time and get through all of my notes quickly. And if I have notes to keep me on track when it comes to color street, it just saves everybody a lot of time because when I go live and I don't have notes to keep me on track, y'all could be here for like an hour. So, all right. So in, the color street world. We all start at zero every single month. Um, we all, ooh, we all have to map our month and work hard to achieve our goals. Every single person, whether you are a brand new stylist or whether you are a national executive, it doesn't matter where you are. Everybody starts at zero and that's just the way that it is. So what I like to do when I'm talking to my team about a new month is basically give the comparison of an artist and that we're painting a picture. And when a new month starts, we all have a blank canvas. But then at the end of the month, everybody's picture looks so much different because we all put in different amounts of time, different amounts of effort. Some of us are more consistent than others. Some of us, you know, are more disciplined than others. So at the end of the month, everybody's picture looks different and it's a direct reflection of what you did that month. So here's what I wanna ask you. I want you to think, do you have a mindset for success? Because I truly believe that everything begins with our mindset. What we give power to has power over us. So when you're thinking about that, I wanna give you a couple scenarios. And some of you might say, well, Sad but true, this does sound like me. So when I go through these scenarios, I want you to think to yourself, which one sounds like me? Because the second scenario that I share is going to be a mindset for success, and that's what you want to gear yourself towards. So with the scenarios, here we go. Which one sounds like you? Oh my gosh, I can't get anybody to buy. Or is this you? Girl, I am struggling with sales this month, but here is what I have planned to try next. Do you get where I said next? In this business, you need to always have the what's next mindset. I always talk about that with my team. Like, if something fails, so freaking what? You need to ask yourself, what's next? You don't sit there and defeat and say, nobody wants to buy from me, nobody wants to do this, nobody wants to do that. What are you gonna do next? What's next? Okay, another scenario for you. Does this sound like you? 
I can't get any parties booked. Or I'm having trouble getting parties booked, but I'm going to try this and see what happens. Which one sounds like you? Seriously, take a minute right now to think. Okay, or what about this one that I hear all the darn time? I really wanna be a leader, but nobody will join my team. Does that sound like you? Or does this sound like you? Man, I am having a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble enrolling. I think the issue might be my confidence and sharing the opportunity. I plan to watch some trainings this weekend to help build my confidence in that area. Which one sounds like a mindset for success? Anybody? Which ones? Scenario number one or scenario number two? Which one do you guys feel like is a mindset for success? Because so much can happen when you flip your mindset. And I'm not saying that I want everybody to have, you know, this rainbows and unicorns mindset all the time, but it helps so much when you flip the way that you think about things as opposed to, I can't grow my business. I can't get anybody to buy. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, I'm telling you what right now, if that's the mindset that you have and that's what you are claiming over your business, you can damn sure guarantee that's what you are going to get out of your business. So I'm just being honest with you guys. And I'm going to tell you two things right now that can help the areas that I just talked about. Two things that can help. Does anybody want to take a guess of two things that I'm about to tell you um, that can really help in that area of your business? Actually, I'm probably going to get a lot of responses because there's a lot of things that can help in that area. So, um, but I still want to see what you guys think. So with that mindset, what can help? Two things that I'm going to talk about that are key is personal development and business development. Now, those two things are different. Personal development is investing in you. That is listening to motivational speakers. Um, if you go to church, you know, going to church, pouring positivity into your mind. The next thing is business development. And that simply is developing your business. That's listening to trainings, listening to successful people who are taking time out of their day to share their successful ways with you. You guys, there are so many trainings that are right there at our fingertips that we have access to whenever we want. If we are struggling with booking parties, why aren't we investing our time and listening to trainings about how to get parties booked? If you wanna be a leader, why are you not listening to trainings while you're getting ready in the morning? Listening to trainings while you're driving in the car? Listening to trainings while you're cooking dinner? Why are you not developing your business and focusing on those areas? And something else I wanna tell you that's not even on my notes right now and it doesn't even really pertain to this training is Stop trying to excel at five things at one time, okay? Focus on one thing and become efficient and excellent at that one thing and then go to the next thing rather than trying to be mediocre at five different things. This is what I'm telling you. If you are in a huge rut right now with your business and you are like, I don't even know if I wanna keep going, what do you feel is the most important part of your business to get you back on track? Focus on that part of your business right now. Become excellent in that part of your business and then focus on something else. If you are struggling with your business and you feel like you're about to give up, but yet you're trying to build a team, but your VIP group is in shambles, you haven't booked a party in five months and you haven't sent a sample in three months, why are you trying to build a team when your personal business is not even on point? Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, that wasn't even on my notes. So see, that's what I'm saying. If I don't stay on my notes, you guys, we could literally be here until midnight. It's 12 o'clock p.m. right now. We could be here until midnight. Okay. All right. So what I want to know, um, you can just comment yes or no. Do you have short-term and long-term goals for your business? Do you know what you want your business to look like in April of 2021? Do you know what you want your business to look like um, in July for conference? Do you know where you want to be December 31st of 2021? Do you know what I want you to do right now, everybody that's watching this, whether you're on the replay or you're here live with me, I want you to share a big, scary goal that you have for your business this year. What is a big, scary goal? So that might be 
um, a specific PV that you're pushing for. It might be hitting circle of excellence. It might be um, hitting a specific rank. I don't know. What is something that you are pushing for? And what I want you to do is write that down on a sticky note and put it on your bathroom mirror. Put it at your workspace, put it in your car, wherever you're gonna see that every day. And I want you to put, let's say, so my team, we have been pushing um, to become a senior executive team and that will happen hopefully in the coming months. So for me, I would put, I am leading a senior executive team. Or let's say that you have a goal to sell $1,000 in nail polish this month. You will put, I sold 1,000 PV. Or let's say that you have a goal to hit circle of excellence. You will say, I hit circle of excellence in April of 2021. You would put that down because that is something that you are pushing for. And what I told you earlier is what you give power to has power over you. And if you speak that over yourself and your business, it will happen. Just how I said with the negativity is if you walk around and say, nobody wants to buy, nobody wants to book a party, nobody wants to join my team, that's what the heck is going to happen. I'm just telling you guys. So I want you to think about that big, scary goal. I want you to write it down. Um, if you're bold enough, drop it in the comments and let me know because I would love to know what your big, scary goals are. Um, mine is to lead in a, a senior executive team. That is what I'm pushing for um, and I can't wait until that happens. So what I want you to do after you come up with that big scary goal is claim it. I want you to claim it, speak it into existence. And as we're talking about goals and mapping our months, you guys, this quote, I share it all the time, fail to plan and you need to plan to fail because you have to plan things out. This is an example that I love is, have you guys ever went into the grocery store and did not bring a list? You stopped on your way home from work and you're like, I'm just gonna run in and grab stuff to make dinner tonight and you know, I'll be right out. Well, you end up going in, you end up spending $100 and you forget half of the ingredients for your meal. Can anybody say amen? Has anybody ever done this? I know when I go to the store, well, first of all, I only go to the store like 2% of the time. The other 98% of the time, I'm doing an online grocery order because I have a toddler and I don't like going grocery shopping with her and it's so much easier to do it online. But nonetheless, if you go into the grocery store without a list, what the heck is going to happen? It's gonna be an absolute mess. You don't know what you're going for, you don't know what you're looking for, and you're probably not gonna get everything that you wanted. So the same speaks true to setting goals in your business. And when, this is something, this is a form that I created for my team and I'll actually share the link to this form for anybody um, that wants to look at it and possibly incorporate it into your business. But one thing that I'm very big on with my team is setting goals, also setting non-negotiables for your business. So that's different. Non-negotiables are basically the come hell or high water things, this is happening. So that might be a specific PV goal, um, a specific sample goal, party goal, enrollment goal. So non-negotiables, but we also set goals. And goals are meant to push us a little bit. They're meant to make our armpits sweat and make our palms sweaty and make us nervous and make our heart beat because goals are going to push you out of your comfort zone. The non-negotiables are the things that you know that are going to happen no matter what. I encourage you to have both in your business. You need to have standards for your business. You need to know that every single month I'm having this PV, I'm enrolling this many people, I'm doing this many parties, I'm sending this many samples because you want that consistency so your business continues to grow, but you also wanna have goals to push yourself outside of that comfort zone and work towards bigger and better things. So when I have my team, um, when we talk about setting goals, we not only set our goals, but we break those goals down into what we need each week and then evaluate each week where you are at with your goals. And breaking that down into weeks helps to reverse engineer your goals. So it's very easy to say, I wanna sell 300 PV this month, but how are you going to get there? You're going to get there by holding two qualified parties in a month, and you're going to sell $75 per week to get you there, and you're gonna track it here because we want to evaluate, because what we measure gets produced. So when you follow something like this, where you can put things out in writing and you can measure your success, it helps so much more. So that's the same thing with ranks. So you may say, Danielle, 
I want to be a director this month. Well, that's great. Congratulations. I'm so glad, but how are you going to get there? What are you going to do to get there? You're going to pull out this rank tracker right here, and you're going to see how close you are to, to, to director. See what group volume you need. See where you need enrollments, and you're going to figure out what you need to do to get to that rank. So, all right. I want to talk to you guys for a minute about consistency versus commitment, because I know a lot of leaders will always tell you consistency is key. Consistency is key. And I couldn't agree more. I totally agree. I definitely amen to that. But I think also just as important as consistency is your commitment to your business. So here is a quick little scenario of the consistency versus the commitment. So I sign up for a gym membership April 1st. Every single day in April, I go to the gym. I don't work out at the gym. I go to the gym and I talk to people and I don't work out. Consistency, I'm being consistent. Commitment, I get a gym membership April 1st. I go to the gym every day in April. I'm committed to my workout plan. I work out every single day. Where do you think I'm gonna be at the end of the month with those different scenarios? Do you get what I'm saying? So I feel like in our business, we need to have consistency, but just as important, I feel like we need to have commitment because anybody can show up and post something in their VIP group every single day and they can say, I'm being consistent. I'm showing up every day. That is great. That is a huge part of your business. So yes, I do want you to post in your VIP group and show up every day. But are you committed to your business? Are you committed to doing those income producing activities, following up with people, sending out samples, booking parties, sharing the business opportunity. Are you guys committed or are you being consistent? So just keep that in mind. And another little thing I want to touch on is your why. I feel like when it comes to keeping that momentum and being motivated in your business, I think it has to all root from your why. When you joined this business, why did you join? Tell me in the comments, why did you start this business? And then what is your why this month? I mean, that can change from month to month. It may be different every single month. And then you should have a big why. So what is your big, huge, scary why that scares you, but also motivates you to keep you pushing? So share below with me. Let me know. What is your why this month? Why did you start this business? And if you want to share your big, scary why, let me know that too, because I love... I love reading through all the comments. So, all right, this is what I want you to think about is where do you want to be? And this one does require feedback, so be prepared to comment. Where do you wanna be this time next year? So just for those that are watching the replay or not catching this live, um, conference of 2022, where do you wanna be with your business? Do you want to be you know, a bonus qualified stylist that is the top seller in your state? Do you want to be a senior director and have stage recognition at conference? Um, do you want to be a team leader so that you can be invited to the leadership trainings? Um, do you want to be a national executive director at the top of our comp plan? Where do you want to be, top of our comp plan, top of our ranks, um, where do you want to be in conference of 2022? Where do you want to be with your business? please tell me below because I love, love, like this is one of my favorite parts um, of the business is being able to see people's goals and their vision with things. And then think to yourself, you don't have to comment this below unless you want to, but what about five years from now? Five years from now, it seems so far away, but yet it's so close. Like five years is going to be here before you guys know it. I mean, and this is what I want to tell you guys. This is just a tiny little snippet into my story. So two years into my Color Street journey, I was leading an executive team. The average income, according to our 2020 IDS income disclosure statement, is $8,559. That was two years into my Color Street journey. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, it took commitment. It took consistency and it took hard work, but I was having fun while I was doing all of that. Was it worth it? Hell yes, it was. Would I do it all over again? Hell yes, I would. 
I absolutely love my business. I love my personal business. I love my team. I love every aspect of Color Street and I'm literally not stopping until I take my team to the top. They know that we are on a mission. But what if you could commit to two years of consistency, fun and hard work to get there? Would it be worth it? Would it be worth it if you know you did half of that? Yes. Would it be worth it if you did more than what I did? Yes, it would. But you know what? You can do it because I've done it. And I used to look at upline leaders in Color Street and I used to compare and I used to feel defeated when I would look at those girls that were ranking up and, you know, selling X amount of dollars every month. And I would start to say, what am I doing wrong? But rather than sit in that comparison and that defeat, I flipped my mindset and I said, you know what? If they're doing it, I can do it. They are no different than I am. So what did I start doing? I started following those people. I started listening. Every time they did a training, I was there. I was listening because I wanted to know what they were do doing to get where they were because if they could, I could. And you know what, guys? I used that and that made some huge momentum for me in my business and I still do that today. Okay, so... This is what I want to tell you. Believe in yourself, show up daily, celebrate every success. And those successes will lead to momentum and that momentum is going to lead to confidence. If you don't show up, neither will your customers. And something else I tell my team all the time is direction is far more important than speed. Every step is getting you closer to your ultimate goal. So don't give up. I got something else to tell you guys. Are you ready? Hopefully you guys are all still here with me. And I haven't been talking super long. Okay, so I got bad news for you. Bad news. Your success is completely up to you. But I also have good news. Your success is completely up to you. Did you guys catch that? I hope you did. Bad news. Your success is up to you. Good news. Your success is up to you. Do you guys get where I'm going with this? Believe in yourself. Take consistent action towards your goals. You got this and you deserve it. Claim it right now and go win. So something I love is literally my heart is to serve and empower and encourage. And my goal is to help just one person when I share. So if there's anything that you took away from this training, I would love like literally you would bless my day. I get a little bit teary eyed when I talk about it, you guys. Okay. So I'm going to keep my, keep my stuff together right now. But if you guys can share one takeaway from this training in the comments, I swear it would bless my day. So let's make this your best month yet. Because why? Because you are worth it and you deserve it. I'll talk to you guys soon.